I finally got my hands on the Firmzilla. If you're following my channel, you know I have been using the Firmentosaurus for a very long time, but yeah, the Firmzilla is mine. In this video, we're gonna do a, an unboxing of the Firmzilla, talk about what I like and if I have any dislikes about it, compare it to the Firmentosaurus, and yeah, let's give my initial thoughts about this product. But first, I need a beer. I'm Dr. Hans, and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So, this is my Hefeweizen. Haven't released the grain to glass on this video yet, but recipe is already up for my patrons, both in PDF and beer XML form. Cheers. Check out Patreon if you want. Yeah, really nice. Uh, hopefully I will get a grain to glass video out for this one. Where should we begin? The fermented source. It has been through a lot. I have a whole playlist of this one. I've made uh, different experiments with it. Uh, did a one year experiment. You have to check out that video, crazy. And I have done some other experiments as well. Uh, dislikes about the fermented source. The opening is too narrow. It can be really hard to uh, open up sometimes. Also, I have uh, special equipment for that, which I had to buy. The cleaning is hard to clean it. Uh, I love my buckets that way. And uh, yeah, the ball, never really used it. There's another version of the Fermented Source, the uh, Snub Nose, I think it's called. So it, it just ends here, which, and you turn the, uh, the stand upside down, so it takes less room. And I think that's a very good solution, because you really, really don't need that ball. I just used it to remove yeast and trobe when I did the repitching of the wart for a whole year. So that... It was good, but you can't dry hop with it. And you're supposed to keg a bottle from, from the bottom, from this, but I don't see the point. I can say that straight away. If you aren't gonna pressure ferment, I wouldn't waste the money on these ones, because that's the thing with this one, to have the pressure kit. But the pressure kit was an add-on to, to this, and it also is an add-on to this one. We're gonna get into that further. But yeah, it is amazing with some little flaws. But can it be improved on? The firm Silla, 27 liters, unit tanks, new features, larger opening. Okay, great. Because um, you can't really get your hand in there to clean it fast. New lid design. Newly designed with various accessories available, such as thermowell, cooling coil, carbonation port. Okay, that's cool, because that's a lot of options. New fermenter border design. New fermenter border design with better clarity, and that can be upgraded to high temperature resistant plastic. I thought, actually, that this would come with the temperature resistant plastic. Stronger and more rigid stand. Nice, new 304 grade stainless steel is made with twice the legs and is more rigid. Nice, because I haven't had any issues with this, but of course it is a little floppy. Improved collection container, new collection container is double the size, also has ports for carbonation, purging, pressure release, etc. Nice! Larger butterfly valve, new better Butterfly valve is double the aperture, so it's more resistant to blocking. Made from new, more chemical resistant polymers and significantly improved design. Great! There hasn't really been an issue for me. Of course, it could have been blocked, but as I haven't used it really for, for anything like that. But maybe on this one, we could start to use it. I have to experiment with it, of course. Uh, let's turn around. 
that says the same thing on this side. And here we have Brew Better Faster, huge time savings, carbonate and serve in one container. But yeah, they're, they're promising a lot here. Harvest yeast, dump and collect tube, see the fermentation. Yeah, that is something I really enjoy. I get to see the fermentation. Love that. But you can do that in a carboy also. Easy, fast, clean. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if it's easier and faster. Block oxidization, yes. Uh, I'm gonna come back to that also. The all-in-one unit tank. This one tank can replace your fermenter, condition vessel, keg or bottles. And this little guy says, Jum, I'm drinking finished carbonating beverage directly from the fermenter. And this is a problem for me because they're promising a lot of stuff that you can't do if you don't buy your first add-on, which is over 40 bucks extra for two carbonation caps, a hose and a floating pickup. This should come with the Firmzilla. It should come with the ferment source also. Kegland, this should come with the fermenter. And I did pay for this fermenter myself. So this is not like a bought video. But my, my opinions will never are aren't for sale anyways. But yeah, I bought this with my own money here in Sweden yesterday. Yes, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, the first gadget collection ball. It's not a ball anymore. Nice. See what we got here. Okay, so we got a ball with a lid. It's a seal here. And the idea is there's two pet corks here, but if you want to use this for anything cool, you need to buy at least one more carbonation cap. I think this should also come with the product. So with this you can perch, just put your CO2 on there and release on this side. And then you have uh, purged it. You could put a carbonation stone on there if you want to. But we're already carbonating the beer when we are fermenting it. If you have the fermentation kit course and you also need a spawning valve. I hope it comes with that. But I have my favorite, the, uh, the spandit. I've seen it in all my videos. I need to do a separate video on the Spandit, but I will uh, link to the Spandit down below. Let's, there's some other stuff in here as well. There's some sort of gasket and we have a sticker with US, and US gallons and liters. We have an airlock. I won't use the airlock because I will ferment under pressure with this. Or else I would use a bucket. It's really sturdy. The other one is more like a pet bottle, but it has, has hold up fine. Okay. Okay, this this is a major upgrade. This big valve, you see that? Big opening. Should we compare that to the other? This is now. What an upgrade. Oh, this was upside down. Yes, of course it is. It's much smaller. And this is uh, like 35 liters. This is 27 liters. I would have wanted it a little bit bigger, really. 27. You don't need much headspace when you're fermenting under, under pressure. 
because the uh, pressure holds back the Krausen, so you're never getting more Krausen like that. Uh, I have an uh, amazing video on uh, where I dry hop through the lid and uh, yeah, I have a major accident. I'm gonna link to that one below. I learned some stuff from that, so I'm not gonna do that again. Okay, so here's the opening. It's so tiny. There's the opening there and there's the opening. I hope you can see it. It's a, such a major improvement. I can't see why this should ever clog up. Awesome. And uh, this is as the old one. Max 2.4 bars, 35 psi. That means for me that I will do 2.4 bars. Always max. Do not expose to liquid temperature above 55 C. I thought the, the new one is going to be better. They said it would be great for extract brewer as well. It ain't. You need to buy another upgrade. Let's have a look at the lid. Okay, so you have same here. This is just like pet bottle caps. So this one is for the, can you see the hole in there? If you want to use the airlock, sorry. And if you want to pressurize it, you just put two of the carbonation caps and you hook up the pickup ball. The silicon line. This works really great. I can say that. Don't need to try it because I have been trying it a lot. So this goes on one of these. It doesn't matter on which because they both take beer and gas couplings. And yeah, the ball goes on, on there. You get it. Let me see if there's something else in here. Yes! Of course, the stand. Ugh. Okay, so this is much more sturdier. And we have the specialized tool now. I can understand why they sent it this time. It's the same type of tool you change oil filter with. So, let's put that down. Should we? I don't know what the big gasket is for, really. I'm gonna take that out also. Wow, it's it's not a big gasket. It's spare gaskets. Nice, nice Kegland. Spare gaskets. We love getting spare parts. We can lose. Okay, the, the stand is so much better on this one. And let me set it up side by side with the fermentosaurus. You see, it's much shorter, but I'm hoping, really hoping that Kegland will make a snub nose out of this one. Because that would make this a very small fermenter, pressurized fermenter. I will link to the snub nose also if I remember. If I don't remember to link to anything. Most of the stuff I use you can find on my Amazon storefront. I think I've gone through most of it. The stuff I, I like, uh, the, the new valve is awesome. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to dry hop with this one, which I never tried with the other one because that was just stupid. But I'm gonna try to dry hop it and purge. I will have to get another one of this. So extra cost there, don't like it. And as I said, the pressurized kits should come with this fermenter and one for the purge, I think. Then if you want to get more stuff like thermo wells and uh, cooling coils and yeah, of course. But this is uh, according to the 
box, you're supposed to be able to do pressurized fermentation and you aren't if you don't shove out another 40 bucks. More than that, actually. Where I got it from. Love that you sent the extra two this time. Do we have any guidelines on where to put this? And yeah, one other thing I don't like about it. I will have to come back to, to that one after using it. 27 liters. I think it's... Oh, we also get a thermometer strip. Nice. I think 27 liters ain't enough. Because I often brew like 25 liters. And uh, that gets 2 liters headspace. We will have to see and wait and see if that is okay. It could be okay. Because as I said earlier, pressurized fermentation really hold the Krausen down. So align with seam. Approximate values not including collection container. Could we have an extra liter there? Might be. 28. Now, okay. So align with seal. Yes, it's there. So good. Yes, but I will mount this off camera. So if you want to follow my adventure with the firm Silla, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Give this video a like and yeah. I have a lot of videos on the Fermentosaurus, so you can go and check out that in the meantime while you wait for the Firm Silla. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Dog to Hans out. And yeah, you can head over to my web page and get my free ebook. Cheers.